we're here in Meyer looking for alkaline foods that fit in with our bioelectric challenge which is the whole point is to raise your pH alkaline means energy electricity so we're looking for alkaline food let's see what we can find let's go all right let's see way no way hey protein powder no i highly doubt it let's see we've got whey first thing it's basically just mucus land what's this Ooh, lemon juice powder and what is that calgan What is this? Fish? Fish powder? That's nasty. What is that? Some kind of cow. I don't know why people would take that. Look at the list of acids on the side. <laughs> oh boy. That's disgusting. What else we got here? Bunch of mucusy foods. Whey protein, sucralose, sunflower lecithin. Get this out of here. Plant fusion, complete keto blend. Natural guar gum. What is all that nasty stuff? Silica, monk fruit, not on the list. Organic plant protein? Let's see, what's this have in it? Oh wow, a lot. Too much for me to even read. No way. Alcohol, no thanks. No way. All right, let's check out these quote unquote vitamins. Sugar and corn syrup. Yum. What's this one have? Glucose syrup and sugar is the for, those are for children? These are for adults. Let's see, sugar, glucose syrup, gelatin. Fail. What about this one, magnesium? Uh, other ingredients. Colors. There's a bunch of garbage. What's in this one? For women. Glucose syrup, sugar, water, gelatin. When, when do the vitamins come in? That's just totally irritates me. Nope, at least alcohol knows it's bad for you. <laughs> None of that either. All right, we've got some good stuff. Ooh, blackberries. Nope, tons of alcohol. Not for us. Tons of toxic drinks. Ooh. Water, that, this looks good, what's that? Uh, spring water, cane sugar, citric acid. None of that garbage. Ooh, coconut water? Let's see, nope. Vitamin C, yeah, right. That's ascorbic acid. That's not vitamin C. They're full of it. What's this have in it? Um, less than 1% sugar. Why would they do that? That's annoying. Cactus water? Ooh, I never saw this before. Filtered water, prickly pear, natural flavor. 
That might be okay, to, but I don't know what the natural flavor is. It could be beaver anal gland, coconut water, sugar, vitamin C. Whenever it says vitamin C, it's acid. I don't trust that at all. It's ascorbic acid, which is not vitamin C. Somehow they can call it that, but... Oh, see, that one at least says vitamin C, and then in parentheses it says ascorbic acid. The other ones had no parentheses. All these are plastic. What is this? Caffeine water? <laughs> Box water is better. Ooh, 100% spring water, finally. How hard is it to find spring water anymore? Let's see, are there any breads I can possibly digest? Not here. Ooh, rye is good, but let's see what's in it. Wheat. Wheat and barley, which barley has even more gluten than wheat. Okay, here's some rye. Let's see about this rye. Wheat is the first ingredient. I hate that. Stop calling it rye. Just because there's a flake of rye in it doesn't mean it's rye bread. Guess you'll have to make your own rye bread these days. Definitely none of that. Oh man, let's look at this just for fun. Holy crap, I see something called sodium acid something just right in the middle. Oh my God, I used to love these. Wheat flour and glucose syrup. Ooh, I used to love these too. What's in these? They say natural, that's the, let's see, molasses, wheat flour, darn it. Olives, olives, water, ferrous gluconate to stabilize color. What does that really even mean? Have you ever thought about that and tried to decode their language? Chickpeas tapioca starch fail. Only get chickpea pasta that's 100% chickpea. What's this, gluten free? What's it made out of? Corn and rice? Get out of here. <laughs> Get it away from me. Lentil, but wait, zucchini? It says zucchini. All right, what have we got here? Cider vinegar. Nope, no vinegar for us. Tahini? 100% tahini! Yay, we found something 100%. Amazing, in this day and age. Sesame seeds, awesome. More than one kind of tahini. Wow, they have a bunch of tahini here. Ghee. Let's see, hummus, I like hummus. Chickpeas, tahini, salt, citric acid, darn it. That one was one ingredient away from being good. Chickpeas, tahini, water, salt, citric acid. Why do they do that? Well, I know why they do it, but it irritates me. Ooh, seaweed. Let's check out some Korean barbecue. Oh wow, too many things. I saw starch and all kinds of stuff. It's exactly what I don't want. Sesame oil is good. Oh, this is mixed with canola oil. Jeez, this is like a detective scavenger hunt, isn't it? We did find some good stuff though. To be honest, I'm looking at a lot of stuff that I already know is bad. I just want to show you. 
how to look at the label and find out for yourself. Coconut water, almost. Ooh, seaweed snacks, please don't have anything bad. Sunflower oil, darn it. If you ever find those with olive oil, get them and give them to me. <laughs> Hoard them for yourself. Sunflower oil, darn it. That one is almost good. Just use the wrong type of oil. All right, water and coconut. There we go, two ingredients, that's nice. Here's one in a can. Oh, it's got guar gum. Nope. Ooh, sesame milk? That sounds amazing. Uh, pea protein. Get it out of here. Starch-tastic. Ooh, hemp milk. Gotta love hemp milk. Sunflower lecithin, galan gum, what is all that? Nope, gotta make your own hemp milk at home, I guess. Fruity pebbles, oh my God, I used to love those. Look how happy they look. Rice, sugar, canola oil, artificial flavor. Gotta be kidding me, that was one of the worst things I've seen. Oh my god, corn syrup, canola oil, natural and artificial flavor, yellow five. I don't even see that stuff anymore. And kids are eating this? Corn flour, sugar, oat flour? God. God protect us. All right, wow, there's a lot of unhealthy stuff in here, but we did manage to find some delicious and healthy foods. So let's check out what we got. We got blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, honeydew. We got these pickle things, although I'm not gonna pickle them in vinegar. I'm gonna, who knows what, strawberries. Not a huge haul today, but we did get a bunch of fresh fruit because we've been juicing a lot. So if you have somewhere that you want to see us make another video of alkaline grocery shopping, comment below and make sure to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when we make another video. Also, give it a thumbs up if this helped you out. So thank you for watching. And if you really want to get your health totally turn it around with a brand new opportunity, contact me for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I only have two slots left and one of them might be full. So you might want to grab that up. If you're very serious about taking control of your health in 2020, and I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day on purpose.